My camera is finally here. I'm so excited, guys. This camera has been on back order forever. And I was contemplating whether I should order it or not. And I finally caved. <gasps> She's here. guys i need to clean so badly i feel like i cannot like work or function properly unless my space is really clean like i don't feel creative in a space like this you know and sometimes i feel like when you're really busy just stuff piles up so i need to clean my office immediately because looking out at that is not the vibe i feel like i need to figure out another organization system for all my pr packages because right now they all just live in the drawers you guys just saw and then i have even more in my garage i have more storage because i don't really have a system for it yet so i feel like i need to build out a system that's getting a little bit crowded in here like i feel like i need to put something back here just to complete it a little bit these chairs or our dining chairs we got new dining chairs but i got these custom made so i wanted to keep them and i didn't want to sell them so they're just sitting in my office at the moment this area i used to have a vanity mirror there and i was like getting ready but now honestly i just like getting ready in our restroom but i also put in this floating shelf so i really need a revamp i'm not feeling creative at all i feel like i'm just like hitting a wall right now and my space really really influences how i feel so i need to be in like first of all a clean space and a creative space a place that's inspiring and this is not it at the moment oh, i'm so excited for this my arms are shaking i just got done with my hot yoga class today was especially hard this instructor like kicks our ass at one point i was so out of breath i've just been trying to challenge myself a little bit though and use like the heavier weights and like push through and i think like what is so great about these classes i think it's also like the collective energy of everyone in the class and everyone's pushing so hard and i feel like it makes you push yourself harder too but it's so good because at the end of this i always tell myself my zone of growth and greatness is outside of my comfort zone so even if like during class i'm so uncomfortable so exhausted pushing through feels so good because i just feel like i am like showing up for me honoring me also i parked far from class today because <laughs> there was no parking when i got to class and i still got to class like 10 minutes early but this class fills up so quickly and then i found a meter parking right in front i didn't bring my credit card and then someone pulled out so i was like great i loop around that spot is taken so i just parked in the neighborhood it's a nice little warm-up <sighs> So I feel like I'm finally at a place where i am lost a good of my postpartum weight. There was a point where I think I, I basically gained 35 pounds from the pregnancy. So I think now I'm at a good point where I'm slowly starting to lose the weight. But i am lost pretty much like all definition in my, bo in my body. And of course I want to get fit. But my goal this year is to get strong. Like, I feel like when I see girls that have, like, definition and they just look so strong, I really like that. I think being a mother now just makes me want to be strong just so, like, I can carry Kira. Like, she's getting heavier. But but that is my new goal for this year is to not only get fit, 
but get strong. Ah, oh my god. Oh my god. And then I have this in my bag whenever I work out, which is the Tower 28 SOS spray. And this is really good if like you have to drive home or you can't directly go home and like wash your face and take a shower. So I just spray this all over my face. My chest and then my back. I know some people get like back knee. It also feels really good after that hot class. I'm also so pale and I am so ready to start self tanning again. Okay, let's go home, take a shower. Today I'm getting my hair done with Sammy. I haven't gotten my hair done in probably like nine months or something like that. So basically the moment I dyed my hair black from my bleach gray color, I haven't gone back to the salon. So low maintenance, but the black dye is starting to fade so my hair looks a little like fried at the end. So I am just going to get a nice little color refresh. Let's go. Okay, I just got done shooting with the Zuza. It's like back to old school where I am changing in the back of my car, but now we have a car seat and I totally forgot to take the car seat out and it was muy, muy cramped. Muy cramped. So I just got done with my facial at Joanna Vargas and I learned the biggest unlock. So my forehead and like my under eyes have so much texture right now. So in my mind, I was like, if there's a lot of texture, it means I need to be exfoliating. But I've been over exfoliating my skin, guys. I've been using so many chemical exfoliants, using <laughs> retinol and just really, really overdoing my skin. So we are pulling back on the exfoliant so my skin feels so good she did extraction which is what i needed because i have really congested pores right now not sure why i can't pinpoint it i did bring up i was like maybe because i don't wash my hair every day but i started wearing a, a turban to bed so my hair doesn't touch my face and my dirty hair does not get all over my pillow so she did extraction she did a mask and then we did an oxygen facial so my skin is feeling very very good and hydrated so i basically learned not to over exfoliate my skin and that i need to be hydrated hydrating my skin better because I also have been doing really really light moisturizers because I thought it was clogging my pores but I think my pores are in fact thirsty so anyways I have little marks from the extraction but they will go in a little bit it's just so glowy so good and then I did blue light and red light so blue light kills bacteria for you know acne and things like that and then red light is good for inflammation i believe a part of me loves relaxing but i also love asking the esthetician like a bunch of questions <laughs> so that was a a little mix because i have that dr dennis gross red led light at home it does red and blue light so i'm like okay now i know how to use it we have got to get on home I just got done with my Legree's Pilates class and my legs are literally shaking. They are shaking. But I feel like this is a way that I am pretty much gonna get back into shape. Because this really just like really, really pushes your body. Also, Cupid! I redid my a little section of my closet. I ordered a bunch of these like acrylic organizers because before everything was kind of like much together, there was kind of no system here. So let me show you guys this. So I got these acrylic dividers, you can see from the corner, and I just put my purses away like that which is so much better. Well, right here is kind of what it used to look like. Everything was just like on top of each other, but this is so much better. And then I got this 
case for my perfume situation. I'll show on Kellen's side. We have these open shelves. So I got other acrylic dividers like this and it just makes everything look really more organized and more visually pleasing to walk into. I like to keep this ribbon here because Kira is in this phase right now where she likes to pull things and really kind of explore things with her hands and she loves ribbons. So I leave this one here for her and every morning she just, we have this thing where she pulls it off. So this ribbon is there for her. Okay, now that we're home, we are going to get back into our comfies. Instead of the middle part, I did a side part. And then I try to like do this a little bit. I was watching Singles Inferno, which is like the Korean rally dating show. I don't know what it is about that show that is so addicting. I just got done watching it, but maybe it's just like the Korean mannerisms or maybe because I'm Korean. I just think it's so fun to watch. Like I binged it and I usually, I don't like reality TV. The only other reality TV I watch is Keeping up with the Kardashians. But anyways, all the girls did their bangs like this. It's like, I guess it's like a thing in Korea. Although it looks like I have a comb over. I started sleeping with this turban on. If you have dirty hair. Yesterday I went to the event, didn't wash my hair, had a lot of product. This sleep mask from Slip Silk is the best. It has this like eye, you know. Every morning I drink athletic grains and then I add a pack of this element, which is electrolytes. And then right after I take my seed symbiotic which is a probiotic and a prebiotic in one. Before I was confused as to what exactly a symbiotic was and why I needed to take it, but basically your gut is connected to everything, heart health, your skin. So I take two of these on an empty stomach and then I take my coffee and then I take these two packets from Symbiotica. This is a vitamin C one and then this is magnesium L three and eight, but there's different kinds of magnesium. So this one is for cognitive function because I know a lot of people take magnesium in the evening to fall asleep, but I take this one in the morning and it's good for cognitive function. And then I take this vitamin C. So there was like that other really popular packet that was like the liposomal vitamin squeeze packs and they were so disgusting. Like I could never drink it. It gave me like gag reflex, but this one tastes good. So easy to take. And I've noticed that a lot of people started putting this into their drinks and making fun little drinks. I just like convenience, so I just squeeze it directly into my mouth. And then I take my Ritual Essential Multivitamin. I've been taking this multivitamin forever. I was taking Parallel for a little bit. I just switched back and forth. I think the Ritual one is just easier to take though because it's just two capsules. This one has a minty flavor, so there's no aftertaste. It's really easy to take. The Parallel one sometimes, it was kind of a lot. It was five pills at once and it had a little bit of aftertaste, so I kind of switch back and forth. And then I got this from Symbiotica, which I haven't really started using yet. This is a B12 and B6. Apparently this is good for like a mood booster, an energy booster. I saw that people take this before they go out. <laughs> my current vitamin thread. So we'll take my seed right now. And with your symbiotic or probiotic, it's best to take it on an empty stomach. After I did research on this brand seed, I am super impressed. Yes? should say may. Kellen said I need to do a disclaimer <laughs> that this may improve cognitive function. It says that's what it says on the website. Yeah, it, it's really interesting because so many of these things too, I'm like, how much is actually like placebo? Because mentally after I take this, I'm like, okay. I do a lot of research, but it comes to the supplements I take because you're putting it into your body. Seed is so impressive as a brand. They have a really great brand ethos. Their main product are just doing probiotics and symbiotics. I think that's kind of impressive because they know kind of what they're experts at and then focus on that. And then even the way that their capsules are made, it has two different kind of capsules called the Viacap. Inside's a probiotic and then outside is a prebiotic, I believe. So they have that outer shell because probiotic is really, really sensitive. So once it goes in your body and it goes through all the acids, I guess sometimes other probiotics don't necessarily make it where they need to go in your body to be effective. I think it has to make it to your lower gut or your colon. Anyway, something like that. <laughs> but for so long, I did research on like, okay, which probiotics should I take? Because I wasn't sure, but I've just started taking the seed one and I am sold. 
So I'm taking the DSO one, the symbiotic. Yeah. Okay, that's my very long-winded supplement talk. And then this element brand, Kellen got me onto it. And I feel like more brands are starting to do this, but I like this brand because it doesn't have any sugar. They do have different flavors. In the beginning, I started taking the watermelon one, and it's like salty watermelon. It tastes really good. But given that they don't have sugar, they I believe it's stevia. So if you do the unflavored one, it doesn't have anything. It just tastes like salty water. But this is really good. It has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium and there's so many types of symbiotica packets that i was like which one should i start with and these two are the ones that spoke to me i always make sure to take a vitamin c i think it's really important for just your overall immune health and i was really curious i've never taken anything for brain function oh, may help with brain function and cognitive function so i was really curious about these i just started taking these biotin gummies because i had some hair loss from postpartum but luckily it stopped i feel like the moment that i stopped breastfeeding a couple weeks after that luckily the hair loss slowed down but there was like a point where i was in the shower and i would just be pulling out like globs and globs of hair this is my supplement haul the reason i like the ritual multi too it's bioavailable and the reason why i take a multi is because you know from our nutrition it's hard to meet the required kind of nutrient amounts that we need to be taking in a day i don't know how good of an explanation that was but basically vitamins fill in that gap and then my girlfriend has this brand called by ava and it is all ingestible collagen so this one is a skin barrier booster which is fish collagen hyaluronic acid and elastin peptide mm, i'm gonna try putting it into my coffee let's try that because i haven't drank my coffee yet i make sure to drink a bottle of water and then i drink my athletic greens and element so basically it's a two bottles of water and then i have let that chill and then i will make my coffee i just try to kind of like space it out so i'm not drinking coffee like right when i wake up look at her with one finger she's like effortless she's effortless We are at the Huntington Botanical Library Garden. <laughs> this place is so stunning. Fran and I came here like a couple months ago. We went to the tea room. It was quite cute. But today we're here as a family. So this is like a really great place if you live in LA and it is in San Marino. So it was like a 30 minute drive for us. And they just have a bunch of different sections. So they have like a beautiful really elaborate rose garden and they have like a Chinese garden and Japanese garden also really really excellent to come with your family or I think super cute for dates Kira's in the jungle jungle Kira she's Kira. jungle cat <laughs> whoa this is cool this is cool look where am I going? Jumanji <laughs> Stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Here got her leg up. 